Welcome to the Swimming From Home talk show. I'm here with Coleman Stewart. Uh, let's get right into it. So you swam at ACC's uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, can you tell me kind of how how your day-to-day um, kind of evolved after that meet? Um, well, the first week and a half, well, the first week, you know, is totally normal after ACC's did the normal, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, trying to get back into shape a little bit after going down. And then Monday at weights, I hurt my back a little bit. So um, that was unfortunate, but worked with my trainers. So we got that back under control. And then Tuesday or Wednesday when they said no spectators. And then once the NBA canceled all the games, that's when we kind of knew that that was going to be it for everything else. So yeah. it was just kind of went from totally normal to, you know, flipped upside down within the matter of 48 hours so yeah it was just super crazy (laughs) yeah um and so you're back in york pennsylvania is that right yes okay um did you have to vacate campus um they just announced yesterday that they were closing campus we live off campus um but yeah yesterday they just closed campus everyone has to move out of the dorms very limited campus functions right now so the the pool just announced that it was closing yesterday so pretty much everything is shut down gotcha and so what uh, i guess what motivated you to go back home just to be close with family yeah uh, a little bit of that um also, the fear of I, I don't really know how to live totally by myself for two weeks without, you know, stores. So my mom is a my mom and dad, you know, they they're willing to help out, which is awesome. Um, yeah, it was <laughs> a little bit of I, I don't think I would make it for two weeks without stores. So yeah. <laughs> my girlfriend yeah. decided to come up here and it's nice to be home. Yeah, definitely. How far is that from Raleigh? Uh, it was about it's about six hours. Okay. Miles, nice. so not too bad. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so uh, when have you been able to swim? I decided to take a few days off right after they made the announcement, um, expecting, you know, I would be able to get back in. But since they closed the pool in Raleigh, they closed the pool here in York. So I'm not really able to swim. Um, trying to do some other dry land exercise abs stuff like that but you know everyone's trying to make do with what they have right yeah um have you have you really had time to process much the fact that there's not going to be an ncaa's uh slowly yeah it's it's just kind of setting in a little bit more and more um you know, I've, I've had tremendous support from my family. Um, some of the the, co- the coaching staff is also feeling our pain because, you know, they're going through it too. Um, and just kind of knowing that, you know, our entire class is having to go through this as well. You know, it's not just me or just one team. It's the entire NCAA knowing that, you know, this obviously is an awful situation, but we have to do what we need to do for the others, you know, the elderly people and the people with the compromised immune systems, you know, it it stings, but knowing that, you know, it's not just for nothing is kind of, you know, helps it a little bit. Yeah. Have you been able to talk to any other, you know, seniors who are in your same situation? Um, mainly just the guys, uh, on the team, the guys and girls on the team. Um, but there had, you know, I've, I've few guys, you know, I've talked to a few guys, you know, via Instagram, stuff like that, you know, we're all kind of hurting, but yeah, like I said, we're all in it together. So it's got to kind of come together and get through it as a group. Yeah. Yeah. Did it, I mean, did it help you to have at least somewhat of some some closure on the season grant given the fact that you guys got to have your conference meet yeah yeah absolutely you know if if we weren't able to have that i think that would have just been devastating for for a lot more people 
knowing that, you know, NCAAs, you can only, you know, only X, X percent of the swim teams in the nation get to go. But for conference, you know, everyone gets to go. So to at least have that is definitely pretty good. And yeah. Yeah. Um, what, so, so you're back at home, you know, you're, we're all indoors for the next, for, for the for foreseeable future. Um, have you found yourself missing anything particular? Um, not really. I mean, I, everyone kind of left raw, all the, all the team members, we all live off campus except for the freshmen. Uh, we all live super close in the same neighborhood. So yeah, just kind of not having that, you know, I can go two doors down and hang out with a bunch of friends. That's probably what I miss the most, just the togetherness of our team. But, you know, we're still communicating via group me all the time, sending, you know, awful memes to each other, just trying to make it seem like we're still together. So yeah, yeah, it's, it's a, far, uh, you know, far apart, but we're still together in that sense. Yeah, definitely. Um, how, how big is the, how big is your, your team at NC State? Um, we have what, I think we had 32 guys on the roster and the girls were a little bit more than that. Oh, wow. So, so big, big group. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, we're all, I'm, every college team says this, but you know, we're all super close to each other and, yeah. you know, knowing that I had that support in the family, you know, as, as the senior group in general was very comforting. Yeah, definitely. Um, what's it what's it been like to be home so far just to kind of see your parents in a, in a time like this um I think th they took it pretty tough too because you know this has been not just the hard work of of me you know they have put in so many hours of driving down from down to Raleigh and back up to Raleigh down or back up to York and you know all over the place um to you know watch the meets and they've come so close with the other parents on the team and then to have that, you know, not that last meat ripped away from them too, you know, I think it hurts for them a lot. Um, so yeah, to have them, you know, I think we're all just kind of getting through it together a little bit. Um, but yeah, you know, it's it's great to see my three dogs who are back here in York. I just got a dog last weekend. I just adopted him, so he got to meet his grandparents. So that's that's pretty <laughs> cool for them. They were pretty excited. Oh, nice. What? Tell me about the three dogs. What are what, what kind of dogs? Uh, so my parents have uh, an English Springer Spaniel that we rescued. He is 14 and a half. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And then we have an English Setter who is 14 um, oh. and he is blind and deaf, <laughs> <laughs> but he's still he's still kicking. Um, yeah. And then they rescued another dog from the hurricanes last year or two years, whatever that was down from one of the Island countries. I think it was Puerto Rico. Um, yeah. Her name is Jasper and she's like two, maybe super, you know, super young, pretty energetic. And unfortunately she has to, you know, live with two 14 year old dogs. So she doesn't really get to play all that much. So yeah. to have the pup I just adopted, you know, he, uh, they're having a great time. <laughs> yeah. So I've, I've seen a lot of this, um, like on social media, you know, I'm in Austin, Texas, and um, a, a lot of the people that I live around, you know, have been saying, you know, these animal shelters are closing, come get an animal. Is, was that, was that part of why you got this dog last week? Um, I, me and my girlfriend, I kind of been talking about getting a dog for a while and I, I knew I was going to get one after NCAAs. So, mm -hmm. you know the opportunity arose and we were actually going into the SPCA to look at puppies. Um, but then, you know, like the super small puppies, yeah. but we couldn't go in there quite yet. So we, I just went down another hallway and I, you know, looked at this dog and I knew that, you know, he was going to be mine. It was super weird that I just, yeah, I just looked at him and same with my girlfriend as soon as, as soon as she saw him, you know, that was, that was kind of it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, isn't that, isn't that just the way with dogs? Yeah. Um, so you guys are, but you guys are, are, a, are a big rescue family then. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's, uh, you know, they're, they're a little bit more work sometimes, you know, got, got a little bit more baggage, but I think it's ultimately better for everyone. 
Yeah. So how old is is what's your new dog's name? His name is Henry. He is a uh, training walker coon hound, and he is six months old. Okay, cool. And how is he getting along with the two-year-old so far? Oh, they're loving it. They have not stopped playing. And then as soon as we took him up to bed last night, he passed out and slept the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <clears throat> um, very cool. That's great. I mean, yeah, I can't. I'm I'm at my girlfriend's house right now with her two dogs and I feel like that's that's been an immense help just having having some animals, you know, to that don't know everything that's going on. Yeah, it's yeah, huge relief. You know, we got them right before the SPCA closed in Raleigh. So okay. we got them just in time and it's you know, definitely helped to take our minds off things. Yeah. That's that's really nice um so so you've been trying to work out from home what kind of workouts have you been doing in the last couple days um you know just some ab stuff nothing too intense because you know i drove yesterday so that kind of took a huge chunk out of the day but um yeah just abs jump ropes and stuff like that our coaches have kind of been giving us stuff nice what uh during your drive what do you what do you do during a long drive like that <clears throat> um i just you know, i throw on my country playlist for the first half and then just throw back sing along songs and it was actually a super short drive usually it's it if i go during the day it usually takes me about eight hours because of dc traffic but yesterday it took me i think just around six just under six so that was pretty nice <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. I, I guess no traffic lately. Yeah, and it was uh, it was pretty interesting having the dog and a cat both roaming around the car during the drive, but they got along. Uh, so you had your cat was in Raleigh too. Yeah. Okay. How long have you had the cat? What's the story of of the feline? I got the feline. Uh, his name is Josh. He's sitting right here. I'll I'll get him in the screen. He's staring at some squirrels right now, so he's a little distracted. <laughs> um, we rescued him from uh, the, our vet in Raleigh. Uh, we heard about it. Our, my girlfriend's roommate took her dog, and they had some cats for rescue, so we uh, went to check him out, and it's kind of the same thing. We saw him, and we were like, yeah, that's it. Uh, we got him was it June of 2018. Okay. Nice. Yes, we've had him for a little bit of time. Yeah, awesome. What, what, uh, what's his personality like? Um, he wants attention only when he wants attention. Uh -huh. You know, he's pretty, pretty typical cat. Um, he's a bit chunky. He put on some weight, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he doesn't. He's not a huge cuddler. Doesn't he gets up on your lap only when he wants to, and if you force him to do anything. He's not going to do it. <laughs> <Game over. laughs> yeah. Nice. Um, so obviously you have, you have a lot of animals in your life. Um, yeah. And, you know, like, just like we talked about, you know, that can be really helpful. Has there been anything this in the past, like seven days that has been, you know, really helpful for you just to kind of get through day by day? Um, really, it's been the, you know, the support from everyone I've gotten, you know, a lot of texts, like I said earlier from friends, family, um, just trying to reach out and make sure that I'm doing all right. Um, which, you know, I, I sincerely do appreciate, mm -hmm. um, this has been tough on everyone. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's really just been the support of friends and family that have helped me out a lot. And my yeah. girlfriend, especially she, you know, she made NCAA. She was one of the, top breaststrokers in the hundred. Um, and, you know, so obviously she was devastated, but, you know, she told me, you know, I feel, I feel awful about crying because of the situation that, that you're in. Um, you know, you know, that, that just kind of helped to support me a little bit. And I was like, yeah, it, I mean, it just sucks for everyone. You know, obviously I think our senior class hurts a little bit more because we won't have that last swim, but, you know, to have her say that definitely helped a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what, 
what is the state of York right now? Like I know, for instance, in Austin, um, you know, every restaurants and bars just shut down till May 1st. Um, you know, it's like, it's, things are really, really closing fast. What is, what, what's York like? Um, I think the governor announced yesterday that not all non-essential stores are highly recommended to shut down. Mm -hmm. Um, but drive through and dine out are all still open, you know, restaurants like that. So yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, I haven't really been around York very much because, you know, I'm just staying inside. But yeah. yeah, it's pretty much everything shut down. Yeah. Is I, I, and this might seem crass, but yeah, at a time like this, but is there a, like a restaurant in York that you're excited to, to get takeout from now that you're home? Oh, uh, um, I'll be honest. York doesn't have much, but they have a <laughs> lot of food. There's not much to do, but you can you can get so fat in a week in York. So there's a lot of places. Uh, there's a place called Copper Crust. Uh, there's a donut place called Maple Donuts. Um, and then there's a, you know, we have a farmer's market and there's a, a place called JR's Fries that has the best chicken pot pie and the fries are so good. So if you ever find yourself in York, I recommend going to those three places. Um, <laughs> they're definitely my, my parents' top three places too. Nice. Yeah. That sounds great. Is there is there a specific meal you know your parents are going to make that you're looking forward to? See, I don't know because my mom is really good at cooking everything. And if I say one thing in, in, in particular, she's going to think that all the other stuff is bad. So, uh, yeah, I don't really know. Um, I don't know. She, like everything she makes is so good. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, last night we had burgers. Um, her chicken divan is really good. So chicken looking for chicken divan. I, it's I don't even know how to say it. It's like chicken, rice, some sauce. I don't even know. That sounds really great. Good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what? What if you if you were in Raleigh right now? What would you be cooking for yourself? Oh, oh man. Um, I don't even know. Probably burgers. I got a grill, and the, I mean, yeah, that's really all I can cook. Um, huh. Probably a lot of hamburger helper, a lot of stuff that isn't as healthy as what my mom's going to make me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I hear you. I, we, if, you, if you've ever heard of the, uh, the Instant Pot, we've been doing a lot of that. Yeah. That's been, like, super easy. You just, like, chuck a bunch of food in there, and it cooks it, and it's like, all right, great. Yeah. I don't even yeah. have to think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so this is a question I've been asking a few people, but so for, you know, swimmers are so goal oriented, especially like towards the end of a season, um, you know, or, or using those end of the season goals to kind of push them. Um, have you felt yourself kind of, ha have you sat down with yourself and thought about how your goal setting process might change, you know, because I, I know I've found myself like, well, I can't really set goals past tomorrow, you know, because I can't, I don't even know what it's going to look like. And so have you found that goal setting process change for you at all in the past week? I mean, I, yeah, absolutely. I mean, to have the goal of NCAAs, you know, I mean, to do something that had never been done before, you know, I, I, mm -hmm think that I could have gone gone 43 in both to have that ripped away after training you know four years for that that you know hurt obviously so much and then now to have the uncertainty of NCAAs or sorry of um Olympic trials and the uncertainty of the Olympics I really don't know what to even you know look forward to swimming wise um I I really think the IOC should just postpone the Olympics no one is really able to train and I think it's unfair to have you know a, a few certain people train while other countries you know are are in complete lockdown you know I, I really yeah. don't think that's fair to anyone um yeah I mean it's it's just super hard to set those goals with all this uncertainty yeah 
have have you so have you found yourself shifting to like setting goals in other areas um to kind of you know keep keep that you know it's like you can't set goals in swimming right now so it's like have you started have you have you focused in on other things goal wise um not really you know i, I the only other i mean I'm, i still have a full another year of school so i can't really you know look for look for anything there um you know all of our classes are moved online so you know i, I guess i have the goals of you know just doing what i need to do to, for school to stay on, stay on track but other than that you know i don't really know what to do with myself <laughs> yeah yeah no kidding um do you so what how do you spend your free time a lot is it movies is it playing ping pong what do you what are you doing to stay busy um you know honestly because we got henry our dog it's it's you know been a lot of making sure that he doesn't do anything he's not supposed to do yeah um, and <laughs> all right you're in the screen all right he's in my lap um <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I play I play a lot of video, not a lot of video games. I play a decent amount of video games, um, mainly the new Call of Duty. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's good to have that. You know, a few guys on our team play Call of Duty, so we can still chat through that and hang out virtually at least. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. Well, cool, man. Any any closing thoughts you have? Um, yeah, I, I mean, I guess just one one last thank you to everyone who's reached out. Um, you know, I, it it sucks for everyone, but you know, I, I really do appreciate you know everyone checking in on on me, and I think I can talk on behalf of all the seniors, definitely from NC State. Um, I just thank you. This has been an amazing four years. You know, it's an awful way to end, but we're all in it together. You know, we all got to get through it together. So, yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Um, well, cool. Thanks a lot for talking, Coleman. Really yeah, appreciate your you. time.